Welcome to the fifth video in this series. This video will provide instructions on the installation of the OEM fan harness, the ignition cutout, DC cables, and shore power. Step one, OEM fan harness installation. The OEM fan harness installation allows the AGM battery bank to directly power the bunk's blower fan and manage all aspects of the bunk heater controls. There is a single wire location located at the bunk HVAC system that needs to be routed to the UBB. This varies by truck. Please refer to the instruction manual for truck specific instructions. Locate and isolate the green H75C wire. It is a heavily insulated 10 gauge wire. Cut the wire, allowing adequate length on both sides to perform a splice. Turn the ignition to on position. The side of the cut wire with the 12 volt DC power will be spliced with the brown APU wire. The other side of the cut wire will be spliced to the pink APU wire. Before performing any crimp, turn the ignition to the off position. Next, locate and isolate the green H75V wire. Cut the wire allowing adequate length on both sides to perform a splice. Turn the ignition to on position. The side of the cut wire with the 12 volt DC power will be spliced with the orange APU wire. The other side of the cut wire will be spliced to the yellow APU wire. Before performing any crimp, remember to turn the ignition to the off position. Step 2. Ignition Circuit Cutout Installation In order to disable the APU when the truck's key is placed in the on position or the truck's engine is running, the ignition cutout circuit must be installed. Take the time to test the circuit for 12 volt DC power with the key in the on position and the accessory position. Do not connect to a 12 volt DC accessory power source. The ignition harness is in two parts, a long section which is approximately 20 feet and a shorter section. Attach one end of the long section to the back of the UBB. Route this section of the harness to the cab of the truck and place under the dash. Remove the ignition key assembly from the dash. Connect the female push terminal to the terminal on the key assembly that has power only when the key is in the on position. Test the terminals with the key in the accessory and on positions. Connect the shorter harness with the correct adapter to the long one. Step 3. DC Cable Installation We will be installing 5 cables and a fuse with a fuse holder in this step. Cable 1, part number 32041. Bolt the 5 16 inch lug from the cable 1 to one of the fuse holder's terminals. Secure the fuse holder in the truck's battery box. Connect the 3 8 inch cable end to the positive post of one of the truck batteries. Cable 2, part number 32042. Bolt the cable end to the remaining terminal on the fuse holder. Route cable 2 between the truck's battery box and the APU's batteries, then cut to length. Attach the green twist lock connector to the other end of cable 2. There are step-by-step -step instructions included in the instruction manual on how to attach this connector.
plug the green connector on cable 2 into the green panel mount connector on the APU's frame rail unit. Twist the connector clockwise. Ensure that the connector cannot be pulled from the panel mount. Cable 3, part number 32043. Attach one end of cable 3 onto the red stub on the UBB. Route this cable through the floor collar to the APU's unit panel mount located on the frame rail unit. Cut the cable to length and attach the red twist lock connector to the end of the cable. Plug the red twist lock connector to the red panel mount connector on the APU's frame rail unit. Turn clockwise. Ensure that the connector cannot be pulled from the panel mount. Cable 4, part number 32044. Bolt the 3 8 inch cable end to a negative post on one of the truck's batteries. Route the cable to the frame rail unit's panel mount. Cut the cable to length. Attach the black twist lock connector to the end of the cable. Plug the black twist lock connector into the bottom black panel mount connector. Turn clockwise and ensure the connector cannot be pulled from the panel mount. Cable 5, part number 32045. Attach one end of cable 5 to the black stud on the UBB. Route this cable through the floor collar to the APU's frame rail unit's panel mount. Cut the cable to length. Attach the black twist lock connector to the end of the cable. Plug the twist lock connector into the top black panel mount connector and turn clockwise. Finally, insert the fuse into the fuse holder. Ensure all cables are secured along their routes and that all twist lock connectors are matched to the correct color on the panel mount of the frame rail unit. Step 5. Shore Power The Shore Power Kit includes a male 120 volt receptacle and a harness. If a factory installed Shore Power is present on the truck, there is an optional installation kit available. See instruction manual for additional information. Position the receptacle on the driver's side of the truck, just behind and below the driver's door. Make sure the area is free from obstacles. Drill a 1 and 7 8 inch hole for the receptacle. Insert the mail plug into the back side of the plug receiver. Using the tab on top of the receiver, lock the plug receiver in place. Insert the receptacle into the hole and attach with the rear mounted nut. Ensure that the inlet plug receiver's orientation is straight up and down. Route the shore power harness from the receiver to the floor collar under the bunk of the bed. Plug the shore power harness into the back side of the UBB connector that is marked shore power. Secure the harness to the underside of the truck sleeper section using the wire ties and P-clip. Congratulations! The entire installation process is now complete. The final video in this series will cover system testing. 